A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. Let's just show you this real quick. It's only take a few minutes. God is offering every person here the gift of eternal life. Let's just show you this real quick. It's only take a few minutes. I'm saying, according to the Bible, all you have to do is believe. Let's just show you this real quick. It's only take a few minutes. Let's bow our heads right now. You can just repeat this after me, okay? okay? And pray this to God. Go ahead and bow your head and right. just pray this with me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. I know I deserve to go to hell. I know I deserve to go to hell. But I believe that you died on the cross for me. But I believe that you died on the cross for me. And rose again. And rose again. Please save me right now. Please save me right now. And give me eternal life. And give me eternal life. I'm only trusting you, Jesus. I'm only trusting you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, now you meant that, right? Yeah, of course. Look, that's all the Bible says that you have to do to be saved. Right. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. These men all believe that we have the ability to choose Christ of our own free will. So salvation is an additional work of man's free will. One man is more spiritual than another, or more clever, or more determined. And so of his own natural ability, he takes advantage of the chance that Christ offered equally to all. If any person wishes to be reconciled to God, the man himself must do something of his own free will to produce the reconciliation. He must apply redemption to himself. Arminianism, as noted above, contradicts Calvinism at every point. And here we see it contradicting the obviously biblical teaching that man is dead in sin. His will is not totally depraved. Without regeneration, he can exercise faith. Though no one accuses the Arminians of being Roman Catholics, the two agree on one point at least, a fatal point, namely, that while Christ's sacrifice is necessary for salvation, it is not sufficient. Man must add some meritorious work of his own. The main idea of Arminianism in connection with what Calvinists call Christ's satisfaction is that Christ died in order not to save some, but simply to make salvation possible to all. According to this theory, Christ died for all men alike and not especially of those who believe. The Father did not give to Christ a peculiar people or a promised possession. Christ never procured reconciliation for anyone. But if so, how could Isaiah say, He shall see his seed, he shall see the travail of his soul, and be satisfied? At any rate, according to the Arminians, Christ never actually procured the reconciliation of anyone. He merely removed the obstacle of divine justice so as to make all mankind savable. The atonement has no efficacy in itself as far as application goes. For that matter, in their theory, the ransom might not have released anyone. In other words, Christ did not intend to save anybody, nor did his death ensure the salvation of anybody. Salvation is an additional work of man's free will.